Hello, I'm Dejan, this is War of the Visions, and I'm going to be going over the weekly stuff this week. And joining Sephiroth, Cloud, Barret, Aerith, and Tifa, Yuffie is joining the fray. That's right, we're getting Yuffie in War of the Visions. Uh, I'm going to go over that and all the rest of the stuff this week, so buckle up. Let's get right into it. Anyways, new unit Yuffie, she's a UR, she's a fire type unit, she's cost 90, so she won't, she shouldn't be anyways as hard to pull or acquire as Sephiroth. Now, depending on how your luck is, you never know, but you shouldn't be as bad for the majority of people. Um, yeah, so her main job is Ninja, but Ninja Final Fantasy VII Remake. So it's not exactly the same as the normal Ninja that we already know, this Ninja is different. However, this job still falls under the Ninja Blade category. So even though she has this weird like Ninja Blade throwing weapon thingy, uh, it still falls under Ninja Blade when it comes down to like vision cards that use Ninja Blade job buff and stuff like that. Anyways, her sub jobs are Operative and Dragoon. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this character. Uh, I, I've been enjoying messing with fire lately and I'm looking forward to the fire stuff we have coming up. AKA Hio, but also Mustang and Kefka. And uh, fire is starting to get spicy and exciting, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to Yuffie. Not to mention, she's Final Fantasy VII, right? So I'm definitely pulling. So come check out my stream on Wednesday if you want to watch pull live and, and all that good stuff. Now, she's also getting a vision card. Her vision card is free, all right? So you're going to be able to do a quest to acquire this vision card and all the shards for this vision card. So you're going to be able to get this card for free and max it out for free. You just have to run the quest. Alright, it's pretty cool. So, it's for sword, such as warriors, axe, ninja blade, that's her, and staff, such as black mages. Um, it gives acquired AP, critical damage up, and evasion up. Yuffie is an evasion unit, so she'll like that. And then, bestowed effects, it gives attack up, and unit attack resist up. This is just explaining that this card is... Um, acquired through the quest and all that. So there's that. Now she's getting a challenge mission. There's going to be two challenge missions, though. This is the bingo board. So she's getting her normal one. If you pull her, you're going to be able to get a bunch of her shards and stuff like that. You know, on that one. This is the normal one you're used to for any unit. Sephiroth had it. Mon had it. Everyone had it. Um, King Mon had it. Now, there's another bingo board. I guess it's not in this page, but uh, there will be another bingo board for her Shuriken. And I'll show you that when we get to it. Um, but yeah, she's getting added to the Chocobo Expedition. So you're not going to have to change to another one or anything. Yuffie and Sephiroth will be in the same Chocobo Expedition. So if you've been building Sephiroth and you already have it set, then that's cool. Because now you're going to be getting Sephiroth and Yuffie shards from that. And uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So these are the jobs that are going to be getting their Transcendence upgrade this week. Or these are the characters, I should say. Yuffie, of course. Ketone? Frederica, Whisper, those are the URs, MR, Shadow Links, O, Seymour, and Ramada, and then SR is Naya. So it's a nice little batch, a lot of old units on here. Um, any 100 cost units? No, no 100 cost units this time. But uh, it is nice to get more of these characters available on there, and blah, 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 blah. MA2s are going to Lamiga. I don't know, I never know how to say this name. Nivlu, Livinial, and Mia. So that's pretty cool. Now, this is the part of the news that caught me by surprise. I didn't realize, and I don't know if this was a no, a, like a well-known thing, I didn't know we were going to get this on the same day as Yuffie. I thought maybe like a week later. And actually, because we're getting Heo, and I have a sneaking suspicion this card slash and or Esper, I don't, I'm not exactly familiar with the Esper, but the card at least, Maybe best in slot for Heo. So keep that in mind if you're going to be going for Heo. Keep that in mind. Um, that being said, it is a 90 cost card, which on the unit side is the equivalent to 100 cost. So basically, it has half rates, sort of like Sephiroth did for units. This bad boy has half rates for vision cards. It's not going to... Well, I can't say it's not, because we they could change it up randomly, but it's more than likely not going to have a 10k pity like vision cards usually do. You have to pity these kind of cards, 40k. Yeah, it's a doozy. 
It's pretty pricey. You can get very unlucky and very burned on these and not because Ifrit is fire. However, it's a Dark Esper. They're usually very strong. Um, it could be best in slot for Heo. And anyways, so let's look at the card. So this is what it looks like. The card has activation requirements, fire and lightning types. So I already like the card a lot, fire and lightning mix it up it allows you to use this card on either one of those elements or both of those elements at the same time um so that's awesome now it gives defense piercing rate up defense defense piercing rate up pierce attack resistance up and slash attack up so i have a sneaking suspicion Keo is going to be a slash attacker because he uses a big sword right he's probably going to be a long sword user if i had to guess great sword whatever you want to call it and I'm guessing, I could be wrong, he's probably not going to be magic damage, although he might be because Rain is. So you never know. He might not need defense piercing, maybe he'll need spirit piercing. But it's probably going to be defense piercing, but I really don't know. None of us know. Actually, do we know? I don't think we know. So, But either way, slash attack up. He's probably going to be slash attack and the defense piercing. There's a strong possibility that he'll work with this. Attack up, area attack resistance up, and then a global buff to this card for fire type units. The lightning side of the house doesn't get this, but it's still good for lightning. But the fire type units get reaction block right up. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, man. And this is maybe just to help buff fire a little more because I think people are down on fire, a lot of people, and maybe even Gumi is recognizing that. Think fire needs a little extra help right now. So maybe fire is getting a little buff on this card. I don't know. Anyways, this is the bingo board for the raging infernos. That's uh, all Gucci, all that good stuff. So yeah, uh, that's that's the big news for me. Like, we knew Yuffie was coming, but I didn't realize that was coming. A lot of you guys probably knew and you were ready, but me, I was caught by surprise. I thought it would be like a week or two down the line. Or maybe they would even save it till after Heo if it is going to be his best in slot card. I don't know. Anyways, these are the login gifts we're getting this week. Um, same as the Sephiroth week, really, except it's for Yuffie instead. Getting her shards on day three, some mind spheres on day seven, and a ticket to pull for her on day one and two. All right, so there's that. That's pretty cool. Oh, and this is the challenge mission for her Shuriken. Uh, basically, what you'll do is you'll have all these challenge missions, and you'll just... It's a bingo board. And then at the very end of the bingo board, you get this, the weapon. It's nice. It's a free weapon, and it's easy to level up and build as well. So uh, that's pretty awesome. Then the anniversary campaign here, this is just going to make uh, double and or triple item drops in Far Plane Archives and Vision Card Hard Quest double drops. So if you're doing Vision Card Hard Quests, which if you're pulling for Ifrit, it's, Ifrit's not a limited card. So if you want to skip Ifrit and pull it down the line, that's totally fine because you can get it with maybe a select ticket later or just pull it in a rare ticket or a free summon later on when it's in the pool. It's not going to be in the pool for a bit. So I don't think you're going to get it on the free summons this week or anything, but you know what I mean. Uh, but say you are pulling for Ifrit this week on Wednesday. Make sure you wait to do your hard quests because I'm pretty sure Ifrit gets a hard quest. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to just wham bam get an extra shard per day on him for this week because the double hard quest is only for a week. All right. I hope that uh, helps somebody. So this quest right here is the acquisition and enhancement quest for Yuffie's card. So you'll be able to get the card and all the shards to max it out completely for free. No Vizior required. Just playing the game, good old fashioned fighting stuff. And you'll win these things as rewards for like missions and, and probably just end of fight drops. Um, and yeah, it's I like it. It's a free card. So you can't argue with free, right? Yuffie's gonna have a starter quest where you will not have to have her in order to test her out. You can do this quest and use Yuffie even if you don't have her. Selection quest Ice is getting some beefy beef. Nice, delicious, scrumptious new rewards. And job classifications. This just updates Yuffie into the Ninja Blade class. And this week on March 30th, that's Thursday, there is a WOTV FFBE community stream with Justin and friends. This is number 16. Did you guys know I was on the very first one of these? I was on number one. Anyways, this is a big one because it's got Justin, DJ and TP, that's me, Oren J, 
and Ready Player Will. You know, I've actually been on streams with all four of these guys before, because I've been on Justin and Friends, of course, with Justin. I've uh, I've done a stream with myself every day. I've done streams with Orin J. Uh, definitely at least Justin and Friends with him, and I think we've been on one or two other streams, maybe an Amazon stream or something at some point. And Ready Player Will. I was actually in the uh, Community Anniversary live stream last year hosted by Dr. Diggs, although Re Will and I weren't in the same segment, so we've never like talked one-on-one -on, -one on stream like that before, but we were kind of in the same stream, so it kind of counts. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Anyways, that's pretty cool, right? And we'll get some rewards from this. It would be cool if they wanted to give us like 30 antlers instead and maybe a hundred scrolls and then maybe a hundred more blossoms. I don't know. What do I, what do I know? I'm just a punk. Anyways, that's pretty much it. That's my my opinions, my take, my reactions on the news this week. I will be pulling definitely for Yuffie. And depending, if I have to go to pity for her, that would be a pity. That's going to hurt. But if I can get her easily, I might throw some pulls at Dark Ifrit. I am really scared of 90 cost units. I usually skip and I usually just wait until I can get them in a select ticket. And we still have Full Metal Alchemist coming up and Heo, which I'm very curious and interested in. But I still kind of want to take some chances at Ifrit, maybe. Because it could be best in slot for Heo. It probably will be. I think it will be. Anyways, I don't know. We'll see. Come hang out in my stream on Wednesday morning. And uh, we'll figure it out together there. And you guys can tell me how stupid I am and be like, No, man, Heo's not going to use this card. Heo's going to use Siren. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you if you want to see me cover anything specifically. Is there any topic you want me to talk about or cover or make a video about or just talk about on stream? I talk about a lot of stuff on stream. So uh, if you guys are only familiar with my YouTube side, just know that I stream, I usually do all the content on stream, and I talk about everything. Anything that might be good, might be bad, might be upside down, it might be inside out. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Join my Discord if you want to come hang out with some cool people. We do have a WOTV chat. Very, uh, WOTV. Anyways, I'm going to head out. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Have a fantastic evening. Have a great lunch or whatever. I don't know what you're doing right now. Bye. Blah, 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 blah.